Welcome to another playoff episode of The Recap. Today is the semifinal between the number two Wolves and the number three Bandits. Wolves took down the Grizzlies to get here and the Bandits took down the Bulls. Wolves during the regular season took the series from the Bandits and it was a high scoring affair from both teams. Wolves put 20 runs on the first game starter, Brooks. Wolves will throw Carucci, who did not get off to a great start. He would walk the first batter, Brooks. He would also walk Fazioli. And then Eric Brown would also walk. So with the bases loaded, he would throw to Perkins, who would also walk. So not a great start for the Wolves. Down one nothing here early. Next batter, Brooks, going to strike out swinging. Good pitch here from Carucci and then Fazioli gonna go down looking. So one run, not the issue. Need one more out to get here. Eric Brown, the 2021 MVP from the East. Gonna lift one for a grand slam. Five run rule in the first inning. Almost goes down at first. Nonetheless, five runs for the Bandits. It was looking like the Wolves were gonna escape. But five runs is what the Bandits get as we head over to the bottom of the first. Leadoff batter, Kasuba. Brooks on the hill. Going to get a ground ball here to Brown for the first out. So 5 nothing, one down. Next batter is Yash. Tries the quick pitch, but he quickly puts it out of the field. Home run from Yash. Solo blast. Going to make it a 5-1 game. Next batter is Graf. He would walk last time Brooks through against the Wolves. He gave up 20 runs. Another walk here. So with two on, he'll throw to Carucci. And another walk. So base is loaded here for the batting title, BBWL batting title, Ryan Kasuba. Hard ground ball here. And this would be a huge play. Double play escapes what could have been a disastrous inning. So 5-1 over to the top of the second. Carucci back to work. Going to sit down. Perkins looking like a small boy in the candy shop with no money. Just looking. Brooks, though, going to hit a liner over the center field fence to make it a 6-1 game. Bandits in command. Fazioli, the next batter, would then walk on four straight pitches. This is an IBB, so with a runner on third, Brooks and the Bandits looking for some insurance. But Carucci would settle in. Power curve strikes out Brown. And then Perkins doing a lot of sightseeing here today. Going to go down looking. So over to the bottom of the second 6-1 game. Gosh continues to stay hot. He's going to single here. Graf would then walk Samard. The graph walk was an IBB, so it's 6-2. Samard then would walk. Things starting to fall apart here for the Bandits. Carucci would walk. Brooks struggling to find the strike zone. And the next batter, Kasuba, would walk. Not looking good because this guy is on fire. Gone. Grand slam home run at this point. Things would be tied up with the five-run rule. So 6-6 six, six game now heading over to the top of the third. Brand new game here for Carucci. He puts down Brooks to lead the inning off swinging. But things would get dicey because Fazioli would walk. Brown would then walk. So two on, one out. This play to Perkins, check swing, unique play here. They do review it, and he does not get called for going. This is a tough call all around. Maybe could have went the other way, but nonetheless, Perkins would walk. The next batter, Brooks, would IBB, so they do get three runs. Could have been two with two outs with the Perkins play, so nonetheless, it's a 9-6 game instead of an 8-6 game. Next batter, Fazioli, going to strike out. And then E. Brown 
Looking to be the final out of the inning, but he bloops this one into the outfield and they can't handle it. So that would go down as a single and a run would score after the IBB. So now it's a 10-6 game. Perkins would walk before Brooks. Going to ground out here to Yash to end the inning. So at this point, it's a 10-6 game. Probably should be an 8-6 game, but let's see how things shape up. Leadoff batter, Graf going to walk. Samard, the next batter, going to hit a hard ground ball. And just like that, the Bandits escape again, a rally. A double play, two down, down to their last out as the Bandits try to take game one. Deep fly ball here from Carucci, but he knew it. And that is the game. Bandits take game one, 10-6 and get the early series lead as we head into game two. Game two, Ethan Samard on the mound has gone nine straight innings without giving up a hit this year. Into the playoffs, let's see if he can continue that streak. He's gonna walk Fazioli after striking out Brooks. Next batter, batter E. Brown, but also walk. So that's an IBB and it's a one nothing game at this point. Brooks, the next batter. He would also IBB, so now it's 2-0. The only way you can really beat Samard this year is to hope that he can beat himself. And so far, another walk here would make it 3-0. Next batter, E. Brown, another IBB. So that's 16 straight balls. And the Bandits continue to walk 20 straight balls. He almost broke the record, but he got out of the inning before it happened. So 5-0 at this point. Perkins on the hill for the Bandits, and the Wolves were licking their chops, but so far, he's hanging in there. He surrenders a double to Kasuba, but then gets Yash to ground out. Next batter, Sean Graff. He knows all about all-star games, and he knows all about hitting the long ball, and he's their leader, and he doesn't want to see them go out easy, so he's going to homer there. That brings up Samar, 5-2 game. He's going to walk Samar. Next batter is Carucci. And they get a nice defensive play. Another shot at a double play here. Unsuccessful, so the runner would move up. Next batter, Kasuba. And look at this play from Perkins. Still getting it done at age 40. And that's three outs. Over to the top of dangerous play here. Top of the second. Going to take one right off the nose. Fazioli would hang in there, but Samar gonna put him down with that nasty slider rise. And then he's gonna strike out Brown, and just like that, Samar coming back to his old self in a hurry, just pounds the competition here with three straight strikeouts as we head over to the bottom of the second. Yash, the first batter, gonna foul out. Perkins, crafty, throws a lot of strikes. Keeps teams off balance and gets out. Next batter, Graf, going to ground out. And Perkins once was recorded in a 30 for 30 video saying he dislikes Samard the most and he's going to match him. So now we're over to the top of the second. Another strikeout. That's four straight strikeouts for Samard. He'd get Brown to foul out. And then he's going to close out the top of the third with another strikeout. So a 5-2 game. Perkins needs three outs to send the Bandits to another World Series. And he said, you know what? I got a Planet Fitness black card. And he's going to use it to go to work. Next batter, Kasuba. Strikes out looking, and just like that, the Bandits one out away. Third World Series. This dude ain't going to let it happen, though. He was on fire the entire series. Doubles up the middle to keep the Wolves alive. But Perkins does it again. Bandits going to move on to the BBWL World Series. It was a great season for the Wolves. A total favorite to win it all. Didn't get the pitching they typically get today. And the Bandits took advantage of it as they move on to face the winner of the Knights and the Monsters. Great series, both teams. Thanks for joining us once again on The Recap.